What breaks your heart apart? And then what breaks it open? Mm. Well, what breaks it open, again, what breaks it open is, is, is people learning. Um, e even more so, I'm not, I'm not so much swayed by the emotional stories uh, or the certain kind of emotional stories. Emotions are good, but certain kinds don't affect me. Where, you know, something just broke for me. Um, what really matters to me is when someone says, um, I saw that in a different way that, that required me to kind of let go of some things that I thought, but I had no evidence for believing that. It's just I had been taught to believe that all my life. I, I, I tell you a story. Um, one of the more controversial figures, even though he's not controversial as a person, was when Francis Collins, who was then head of the Human Genome Project, came to speak. And, you know, there were a lot of people in the audience that were devotees of, of you know, intelligent design and, and, and that, whole, that whole way of thinking about things. And, and those who thought about evolution were fairly well demonized. And, and Francis got up in the most gracious way and talked about what he believed the language of God, his own conversion experience, and, and how, you know, theistic evolution. And, and you could see some, some people just tense up because they, they didn't believe it, they didn't know why they didn't believe it, but they just couldn't believe it. They were told not to believe it, and they were marching in lockstep. And so, so I walked out of the room, and this 40-year-old man came up to me crying. And he said, I finally found someone who has said what I've felt and what I've thought all my life, but I could not say it because I was brought up to believe in a 6,000 year earth. I was brought up to believe all these things I knew couldn't possibly be true, but, but in my world, I could, ne I could never say that. And, and it wasn't like coming out. It, it was just, I found a place where somebody credible, somebody gracious, somebody recognizes an authority said this, and I could say to him afterwards, you know, thank you for giving me a reason to believe. So, so, so while some people get emotional about, you know, experiences or this, that, or the other thing, I get emotional about learning. I get emotional about changed perspectives. I get emotional about people who either confirm what they believe in, in a in, in a way, or question what they believe, or then come to a new belief. And there's so many things that revolve around giving. I mean, there's so many issues that revolve around philanthropy and, and, and money, especially. So there's, 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 there's no end to the kinds of topics that you can handle and look at them in different ways. That, uh, and, and I find overall, I don't know what your experience has been here, but I find overall people listen. And uh, even if you sense that they disagree, they're, they, people don't walk out of the room. In, in another venue, they might. In, in another place or another time, you know, people who feel strongly about things might get up and leave or start ranting or, you know, say, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to start a campaign against you. But I find people drop that here. And uh, it doesn't mean they don't feel strongly about things. But they just drop it because it's, it's not necessary.